Welcome to Short Takes from Sparks 1524. I'm Nathaniel Miller. The destroyer escort USS Stewart, DE-238, is one of only two destroyer escorts left in the United States from the more than 560 built during World War II. These were slow, thin-hulled vessels designed to deter, pursue, and destroy enemy submarines threatening Allied convoys. In January of 1943, four months prior to her official commissioning, Stewart escorted President Franklin D. Roosevelt on his way to board the battleship USS Iowa for his trip to the Allied Conference in Casablanca. Finally commissioned in May of 1943, Stewart spent the vast majority of her wartime service in the Atlantic where she conducted more than 30 convoys through U-boat infested waters. Stewart sprang into action in April 1945, assisting the American tanker St. Mihiel after it collided with the Nashbulk, another American tanker. It was evident the tanker was in danger of exploding. Stewart's assistance enabled the fire to be extinguished, saving the St. Mihiel. Decommissioned in 1947, Stewart was donated to Texas in 1974, joining the submarine USS Kavala, SS-244, in Galveston Seawolf Park on Pelican Island. Sadly, both vessels were neglected for so many years that the Navy considered reclaiming and relocating Stewart, while the Galveston Park Sport suggested scrapping both vessels. Public outcry saved the ships, with the resulting series of events giving birth to the modern Galveston Naval Museum. Today, both vessels are landlocked, buried up to their water lines to protect them against hurricane damage, and both are open for self-guided tours. The Galveston Naval Museum's website is linked below in the description. Check out this small but lively naval museum in southern Texas that tells some of the more obscure but critical stories from World War II. This has been Short Takes from Sparks 1524. Have a great Navy day and go do great things.